Hello, this is demonstration of DMS component for IBM Maximal Enterprise Asset Management solution. This component is supposed to bring full DMS functionalities to IBM Maxima. Currently this component is relying on eDocumentus which is ProZone DMS software solution. Out of the box this component uh, is adding DMX functionalities to dozen or so standard Maxima objects including assets, work orders, etc. but can easily be uh, adapted to any other Maxima object, even custom ones. I will now log in to the Maxima and show you DMS component. Now uh, everybody is, I believe, familiar with the standard asset application and if we go to the details about one asset, we can see that this is uh, the same as the standard view uh, but with one addition. There is another tab here which is the document management tab. If you press here, we are actually accessing the DMX component and we are able to see to see full organization for this particular object. Uh, this system is configured to create automatically folder structure for, uh, for assets and to uh, organize documents about this asset in these four folders. So we have drawings, manuals, pictures and reports. This can be configured per maxima object. So every object will, will have different organizational of the documents, organization of documents. Uh, this can be imposed or just uh, as uh, uh, or just created as suggestions uh, that is based on permissions. We can allow users to delete these folders and create new ones or we can prevent it and in that way we will uh, keep the folder or document organization across all uh, Maxima object. Now users can uh, go in these folders and browse them see the documents, he can read it, edit automatically out of the box. He just need to press the button and the corresponding, corresponding, corresponding application will be opened and user will be able to see the content of the document. If we go to the different application, let's say purchasing and request for quotation we can see that this request has have also document management tab and that this object have different or folder organization and these documents are organized uh, with as organized in folder specification legal and MIS misc document tab view actually presents the view from DMS uh, graphical interface that is view from another application. These folders here can be accessed outside of Maximo by using eDocumentus web office graphical user interface for accessing eDocumentus. Now I can uh, drill down uh, through the folders defined in eDocumentus and I can go to the folder where we are storing assets about this deck and uh, if we see the content of this this is the actual contents we saw when we are uh, when we were viewing the asset object if you remember there were some documents and we can see them here uh, tenders are stored on different location and here is the same structure we saw here how can I create new document uh, in this system? Well, uh, it's very easy. I can uh, create new documents just uh, right in Maximo. I will just press create new button and I can create new document by using, uh, by importing the documents uh, from the file system or I can create new documents from template. So let's, let me choose a blank template. This is the documents uh, with the predefined contents in our system, so we will say all right, this, this document will be observation. Once I create it, he's presented in the system and he's immediately available 
outside of Maximo. So users that are not using Maximo are able to see uh, this document here. You can uh, edit this document directly from Maximo. And say you just need to save the document and it is automatically uploaded uh, to the eDocumentus ser server and it's also available outside of Maximum so if I click the read the document will be opened and you will be able to see this document This works the other way, so I can create new document by importing, let's, let's say, from the system. This document is again available directly from Maximo. So there's a couple of ways how you can uh, create new document in this system. Now, I can, I will show you one way how things can be done with these two systems. Let's say, for example, the, the one user can create a new request for new RF, RFQ. Once he save it. The document uh, management tab will be shown. As you can see, there are no documents which were created. That's because uh, we have now a new folder under the tenders. There is a folder 009, and we now have 10, 10 folders with a uh, new structure created uh, according to the specific to the configuration. So we are we again have three folders created here. Now users from uh, users can use only the DMS component to create new document so I will create new document here which can be uh, imported again or I will create it for the template where I, I said this will be the tender document and I name it main document and I will say that it is the tender document Type. Now, tender document type uh, is uh, a specific type which have the status of the tender which will be final review and invited. I will not enter it here because that will probably be, will probably will be done automatically from, from within the process. So once I create a new document, a new document is created here in the system. It is automatically available in Maximo so the users are able to access it from here. If we now go to the details about this object, we will see that this document document is currently in status initiated. The users will be able to edit it, to review, to start revision of the document, to acquire everybody opinion of it, to enter the data for. enter the data about this document, save it, uh, and the system uh, uh, can uh, show this document uh, only, uh, uh, the view of this document is co controlled by permissions. Currently, uh, only some of users are able to see this document. If I go uh, log here as a different user, For example, Ahmed, and go to the same purchasing. Now remember, it's ten ten. He is not able to actually see this this document. Now he is not able to see this document because this document is not finalized yet. 
he's not be able he, he will not see that this document either from Maximo nor from in documentus web office the same uh, the same permissions is applicable from any any aspect so he's not able to see this document but if we now sign out and log in again as previous user go to the same tender and uh, we will do something which is which will probably probably be done automatically during the workflows we will change the status of this document and say that this document is now its status final and just save it if we now sign out and sign in as Ahmed we'll be able to see this document So practically, you will be able to create documents uh, from Maximo or from DMS system. The process will uh, raw documents to other users for revision, for editing, for what, what any reasons. And once you uh, want to be visible to all users, you will just need to put it in another state or just change the permission of that document and he will be uh, immediately visible to other parties. Pr practically, you will not uh, be worried about versions, uh, whatever ad other things, you will be able, you will present it with the final version of that document. You can control everything from within the process. Another way of creating new documents is using standard Maximo functionality which is which are attachments so you can create a new attachment but if you want it you if you want to, this attachment to be stored uh, in DMS system you will select uh, that this attachment is edoc attachment and now the system will automatically store it within the edocumentus system so you will choose a file as usual say that it is appendix and once you create it you, you will actually see this as attachment as maximum attachment here if you press it you are able to download it but you can also access it through the document management tab because this attachment is stored here the naming is uh, subject to configuration so we can say that this uh, will be named whatever you you like thank you for watching this demonstration if you want more information you can visit our site at www.prozone.rs if you want a full demonstration or you have some questions for us, please contact us via email or by telephone number. Thank you.